Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Weekend Life. I warmly welcome you back here once again. Well, I hope that you're doing well and then I have missed you guys because previously we had we have had another guest host, another artist and I wasn't there so I have missed you guys and I've uh, you know been thinking about coming back here to have a conversation with you, you know just share another podcast with you so that I can connect with you and we can share another new experience with you all. So I hope that you're keeping well. Well, previously we've, we have had our very electrifying and vibrant uh, guest artist who is who was at Salang or who is at Salang Road. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. On our very charming and talented uh, guest host Nisa Kokiri, and then you know this weekend I've brought to you a very amazing person too. I'm excited that she's here with me right now, and I'm looking at her in person, and I've met her, and then she's so fun, she's so beautiful, and she's so talented. So I'd like to introduce to you our Angami Milady, uh, Miss Kenny Senyo. Uh, I'm so sorry for mispronouncing it, but uh, I'd like you all to you know have a relaxing time with us but as we you know continue with this conversation so over to her now so miss kenny hi hi i hope that you're doing well <laughs> thank you for having me i thank you it's our pleasure it's our honor to have you with here with us and despite of your busy schedule you have found it in you to come here and then share this short time with us so we'd like to really appreciate and thank you for that so miss kenny i'd like to, for you to introduce to the world out there to our subscribers to our followers and viewers out there who you are and how you started your journey. Okay, so I'll just introduce myself first. Surely. Um, my name is Kenny Senyosor here. Do I tell them how old I am? <laughs> it's Maybe okay, it's your wish. I'm 24. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I am still a college student doing my fourth semester at, in, at Capital College um, studying sociology. And... Um, how would I say this? <laughs> um, I started singing in the year 2018. There was this competition in my um, village. Okay. So I was forced to like participate <laughs> in it. So I don't know how I, how I won, but I just won. And then the journey started from there. And then the next j step was YouTube. So it all started from there, 2018, yeah. Okay. Well, 20 have been, 2018 have been a very hectic year for you, I presume. And then a new journey, uh, as you embarked on a new journey, I'm, I guess that you have been like getting lots of criticisms and also at the same time positive feedbacks. I mean, how has this experience uh, affected you in your trajectory of your uh, career in singing? So like, how would you <coughs> describe, how would you... Uh, say to the people out there like uh, the good things that came out of all the bad of all the criticisms and all the positive feedbacks <clears throat> okay so for criticisms i've been like what facing them ever since what well, forever <laughs> so um i don't mind uh you know there will always be like negative and positive criticisms so i don't really mind but the thing which like gets to me the most is about my hair. <laughs> so it was not, I had to cut my hair off because I was in an accident some few years back. Okay. So when I uploaded that Chaka Sangha song, there were a lot of comments, like on my, uh, comment, people commenting on my hair and stuff, calling me, you know, a lady boy. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I'm not a lesbian, there will never be one. <laughs> it's just I had to cut my hair off due to some medical reasons now. Nah. Okay. So that's that's the most life sensitive topic for me. For Nico. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you so much for you know giving us an insight of your life. I mean, you look beautiful as you everywhere. I, I don't, I don't think that you cutting your hair bring any changes to your appearance because you're beautiful inside and out, and we really appreciate your singing, your talent. I mean, that's what it's all about. That's all the beauty that's inside you that you carry out each and every day gracefully i think that's all it's about so we really would like to tell you that you're beautiful and then you don't need to feel insecure about anything so people can say whatever they want to you're beautiful for me for the people out there um so i'd like uh, also i'd also like to ask you like what do you do these days like i think that it has been more than three months after you release of that song so what have you been up to these days <laughs> what, uh, what do you do like in your daily life Mm. I had a dog 
but she passed away. I'm so well, sorry. <laughs> um, I like just during my leisure time, I make sure that you know she's clean and well fed, and you know <laughs> to make sure that she's happy. She lived for eleven years, so most like with most of my like extra time that I get, I usually just take care of her, and yeah. F- she she's she died so <laughs> i don't know i just stay home or go to college that's all and do some gigs in between okay thank you so much um i also like to ask you this before we jump into your song yeah. uh you said that you do gigs right yeah. so how do you manage your college life uh you're a student so how do you call it uh manage your college life and then your music Uh, your professional career so, uh, does it get like hectic for you is it troubling or like do you just love doing it how do you manage it I mean sometimes most of the gigs that I get it is mostly in the evening so you know I just have to like be specific and with my schedule and everything and sometimes it it gets hectic during like November and this in a December month but Other than that, I think I am a, yeah, really good at multitasking. <laughs> well, we're really glad that you are good at multitasking because due to your talent of multitasking, your multi-talent that you, your talent in uh, overall, like you have given us a life where we can, you know, uh, see you in the professional limelight and also see you carrying off with your studies. So I would like to really t- tell you, we'd like to tell you that we are so. Honored to have you here with us right Thank now. So even though you had a busy schedule, you took out time for us, and then you're here, you know, portraying to the world your talent. So kudos to that, Miss um, Kenisano. I have, you know, really admired your voice. I have been listening to your uh, songs for so like. I think the first time <coughs> I heard your song was the Zoe Kaleo, yeah. Kaleo, and then from after that I have uh, heard your songs, your YouTube, checked out your YouTube channels, your covers, and I have been admiring, and I really admire your voice. And right now, as we are all anticipating for you to sing, I'd like to take this time to give to you so that you can sing a song for us. So over to Miss Kenny Senyana. <laughs> I just need someone in my life to give it structure To handle all the selfish ways I'd spend my time without her You're everything I want but I can't deal with all your lovers You're saying I'm the one but it's your action that speaks louder Giving me love when you are down and need another I've gotta get away and let you go I've gotta get over But I love you so So by Walters, that was Miss Kenny Senyo singing gracefully for us. Uh, it was really uh, good to listen to you live. I mean, you have a really beautiful voice, I should say that. And I'd like to tell you that you really are something. Your voice is 
magical. I've heard it in the recording, as I said, like your YouTube uh, YouTube channels and the covers and everything. But seeing, hearing you sing all of this live is something else and such a magical moment that you have created for all of us. Thank you so much for that. So, Miss Kenny, I'd like to ask you, uh, since you said that you just started your journey at 2018, right? So, since 2018, before that, like, were your uh, parents or your family been supportive of the uh, career options that you had? I mean, like, how is your family, uh, how is your family's perspective and outlook towards you pursuing your music along with your uh, studies? <coughs> um, I... How do I say this? There's me, my brother, and my dad. There's three of us, and I have this cousin sister. We stay together, and I guess my cousin sister, she, I think she will be the most supportive. And what was the question again? <laughs> the question again. How, uh, how uh, is your family supportive of your career option, like singing? Sometimes, maybe. <laughs> Sometimes. But I just have to be home early. That, okay. That's number one rule. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I think that uh, we as a Naga, we as an Asi- uh, in Asian household, I think it's it's expected for us to reach home early. You know? yeah. And as a woman in this society, I think uh, that's really important. Even for all of us, I think most of the youths out there who are trying to pursue both their career and professional lives, I think... We're all being uh, been told by our parents to reach home early, and we've had we've had a difficult time doing that because uh, being out doing gigs. I think uh, gigs mostly happen at e- in the evening, so that goes till late night. So I think you must have had a really you must have a really hard time, you know, explaining that to your parents. But uh, I hope that they understand that this is something that you love and you're passionate about. So I think it's okay even if you're out there because uh, there are people taking care of you. Yes. Uh, also, I'd like to ask you, um, there are many things that you can do in the world, right? You can do cooking, you can do business and entrepreneurship. I think that there are lots of things that career options out there, but why did you choose music? After that, after winning, I think you said that you won yeah. in the 2018 contest. So after winning, what did you think in particular that made you want to pursue just mu- music, <coughs> not singing in particular and not something else? I don't know, I had this vision, <laughs> uh, not uh, exactly vision, I had this like, it was in my bucket list, my wish list that, um, I don't know, I used to watch um, Virie, Peleño, Jonathan Hume and all on <laughs> YouTube, yes. on TV, so I grew up watching them, so I just like fell in love with how, you know, <laughs> people are on YouTube, so I wanted to be on YouTube, I really wanted to be on YouTube, <laughs> so <laughs> I guess that, that that's all for that question uh, thank you so much for answering uh, the next question that I would like to ask you is uh, rather a little bit technical okay. but it's okay uh, it's a very simple one uh, what is the one thing one advice that after you've been in this industry of yeah. singing music what is the one thing that somebody gave, gave advice to you from that industry so like maybe a singer a producer a songwriter anyone who a mentor of yours who have given you an advice that you stick with uh, and then that you take away uh, that you have taken away from that person an advice mm, there are many advice <laughs> i got a lot of advices because um when i perform on stage i am quite stiff <laughs> i don't move around But um, Mingu Shokri, she, when I was, I, when I performed last year in the closing ceremony of Hornbill, she, you know, gave me a really good advice. Um, she just, you know, told me to smile more on stage. <laughs> well, I so, mean, you're really beautiful. You should keep smiling. <laughs> I hate my smile, but thank you. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I think that is the best advice because I can't see myself performing. Well, I mean, with such magical voice of yours, I would be smiling and dancing on the stage. So I hope you do more of that, <laughs> the, uh, taking the advice of your mentor. Also, I'd like to ask you, uh, what are the most difficult part of being a singer? You know, choosing singing each and every day. What is difficult for you? The most difficult thing as <coughs> a singer for you? I guess you'll be like choosing the right song for the right occasion. <laughs> That's the hardest. Okay. Uh, and also, since you are mostly at the doing college stuff, 
for your studies. So how, uh, what time would you say you're most productive when it comes to singing? The most productive as in like you, maybe songwriting or like a tune that comes to you or ri- like melody that comes to you, any part of the day, like specific parts where you're just like productive and creative, that, that part that you get to a new song or you want to experience, uh, try something out with uh, singing. Okay, so first of all, I'm not a musician. <laughs> I'm not a singer-songwriter. I just sing, that is all. I have no like musical background. I don't know anything about music. I just listen to music and I sing, that is all. So, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe sometimes when I, I'm in my room, it's, like, it happens mostly after 10. I try to like find new songs to sing. And I just, you know, draw my inspiration to do more cover songs. Because <laughs> cover girl, I'm the cover girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, as I said already, as I've already stated a thousand times, I would like to uh, say it again that you have a very, very beautiful voice. So we are hoping that all the covers that you've made are equally really beautiful. But we are also hoping for you to grow more as an artist, you know, get to so- uh, songwriting. You know, you can explore more. There are really beautiful good things out there more things to explore so please do that and then we'd like to see an original coming up so we'd like to wish you for that uh, also I'd like to ask you if um, in the industry of music uh, are, is there anyone in particular that you feel a little bit competitive you know like Compa- being a singer out there, uh, out there uh, who's your compa- uh, competitor anyone in particular I don't know <laughs> I don't know Maybe you feel intimidated by that person because they're so well. Of course, so I feel well. intimidated. <laughs> there are tons of like people in my list <laughs> who are intimidating. But I, I don't know. Um, the best thing for... I am an overthinker, so it's just best for me if I don't overthink and you know just pretend like everything is okay. That I don't... <laughs> yeah. Hey, thank you so much for it. So uh, we we're waiting from since like the time that we got the information that you're c- gonna come for this shooting for this uh, podcast. So we were really hoping that you would like uh, you would be singing that Zoe Kileo cover song of yours. So <laughs> I'd like to uh, take this time to tell you that we're <coughs> we have been anticipating and we're waiting for you to sing that song. So please take this time to you know give us more. Uh, better experience singing uh, uh, having you sing live of the live version of the Zoe Kelly with us Zoe Kelly in me no he's away no way get a gap but so to you Oh, 
That's uh, that was Zoe Kileo by Miss Kenny Senyo. I mean, I think I'm out of breath right now, uh, <laughs> having you sing that song <laughs> live. Uh, I'd like to tell you that I have been I I heard this song from my friend, a friend of mine, and she was playing this song for I think almost a week repeatedly, like from uh from when she would wake up and then till she goes to her bed, she listens to this song, uh, and that's how I got. Uh, I got to know th- uh, this song of yours. Actually, I did not know that uh, you sing cover songs because I thought that uh, since you're really famous, so I thought that you do uh, originals. So I th- uh, I was going through and then I asked my friend about it and then she recommended this, this song to me and I've been hooked to this song and it's very mesmerizing how you sing it live. You know, just you, you don't even need any kind of autotune in the world because your voice itself is in very beautiful we don't need any autotune uh whatsoever uh so i moving on to our conversation i'd like to ask you the thing uh the one thing that uh that i would like for my listeners uh to take note of uh, what are the three song recommendation of yours uh three songs that you <coughs> love and w- you would love for our listeners to listen to and get hooked up with Okay, number one would be I will follow you into the dark. That is for by that cat for cutie, and then number two is don't look back in anger by Osis, and then number three would be where I stand by Miare. Thank you so much, folks. You have heard her, so please do uh, go check out that song. Uh, I think I don't know the other two songs, but I have heard "Don't Look Back" by Osis, and I've also heard the cover version of yours, which is really beautiful. So, uh, guys, please check it out. It, there are really beautiful songs. So, <clears throat> you know, uh, I'd like to take also take this time to ask you about uh, something that you would like to say to the people out there about the misconception of this music industry, how people would uh, how people portray music industry and what it is not. Uh, if you're getting my question, a Just misconception a bit. of the industry, <laughs> a misconception of the music industry. So, like, uh, maybe something that's not that's not there, but they think that it is there. Okay. <laughs> hmm. There are you know a lot going on in my mind right now. <laughs> so. Okay. So, for example, I uploaded that. Chaka Sangha song, Zoe. Okay. So, <coughs> um, I got the opportunity to perform in Hornbill ceremony, the closing ceremony, because uh, Litsuku, he was out of station at that time. Okay. They actually wanted him, uh, him, and then they contacted me, but he was out of station, so they hired me to perform at the closing ceremony. So a lot of people just assumed that, you know, I stole that song from him. <laughs> Which I didn't. Yes. So maybe that would be a good example for you know your qu- okay Ms. your question. <laughs> so uh, Miss Kenny, as we are coming to the end of this podcast, end of this session, I would also like to ask you something that you would like to say to the viewers out there. A message, maybe something that you want to convey to the viewers out there. Do I look into the camera? It's okay, wh- wh- whichever. <laughs> what do I say? I don't have any message, but you know, um, just be kind. Okay, folks, you've heard it. Be kind at all times, everywhere you are, whoever you're with. Just be kind. That's what our Miss Kenny Senyo she wants us to do. So please take note of that. Also. Uh, since I've asked you a lot of questions, I'll be asking you this too. Is there any question in particular that you would have wanted me to ask you? Maybe that you something that you wanted uh, the world to know 
for so that I can ask you the question and you can tell the world what you want to. <laughs> Me, maybe not. Maybe not. Thank I, you. Then I think that I've hit the right spot and ask yeah. you all the correct questions. <laughs> so um, for the last question here, the last I promise. So, who is Kenny Senyo and what do you want the world to? How do you want the world to see you as? Who are you? That's what I want to ask you for the final question. Who am I? Yes. Who am I? <laughs> um, I'm very talkative. Very open, very crazy, like crazy most of the times. <laughs> um, I think I. Who is Kenny Senior? So <laughs> I think I am very friendly. Like it's like I'm complimenting myself. But <laughs> I think I am. So that is all. Yeah. Thank you so much, Miss Kenny Senior. It's been an honor to have you here. Thank, Thank you, you for once having again me. for availing your time to us, folks. This was Miss Kenny Senior on the Weekend Live. We're really happy and grateful that we get to see and experience many new artists here. So, if you would like someone else to come here in this show, someone else to portray their music, their art, their talent here in this show, please uh, comment down below. And also for the end session today, I'd like to tell you all that we are really excited to share with you that we are doing our merch so please uh, check out uh, keep following us so that you can check out the merch uh, merch bands and shirts and mugs so uh, you can contact us anytime if you want, would like to buy some and also I'd like to thank our special sponsors uh, our uh, sisters out there they have opened a new shop and it's called H Ung's Clothing and Rental it's uh, it's situated and located at DC Court so please don't forget to go and check it out they have really awesome and beautiful new clothes uh, they have a fashion clothing line so please do check it out and also I'd like to do a shout out for Missing Link who have been our sponsor Missing Link is located at Half Nagarjan so please do check it out it's a clothing store so if you're interested in fashion trends and things going on out there please do check out their store and also i'd like to thank you all for being with us even this session i hope that i will get to see you even next time this is your host elvina uh, this is weekend live dreaming out of the box